The appearance on the witness stand by 48-year-old Suleiman Abu Ghaith surprised many. He quickly denied the U.S. government's main charge that he knew of any al-Qaeda plots to kill Americans while he acted as the group's spokesman. The U.S. government's case rests primarily on audio and videotapes of the Kuwaiti preacher's speeches in the days and weeks after the attacks in America on September 11, 2001. He said he was speaking on behalf of Muslims, not al-Qaeda, when he said God has ordered us to terrorize the infidels. On the stand, Abu Ghaith described meeting Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan just hours after the attacks. He said he warned bin Laden that the U.S. would not rest until it had killed the al-Qaeda leader and overthrown the Taliban government in Afghanistan. I think what you heard was a, an imam, a teacher, who traveled to Afghanistan for completely benign purposes, who got caught up in, a, in, a, in the crosshairs of history in a situation, explained what he did and why, and then left and ended up in prison in Iran for ever. Attorneys for Suleiman Abu Ghaith are still trying to introduce testimony from the self-proclaimed mastermind of September 11th, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. The judge is yet to decide on their latest motion to that effect. Right now, closing arguments are scheduled for Monday. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.